Hey guys, these are the recurve bows that we use at Time Out Adventures. The reason they're called a recurve bow is because the arms actually bend backwards. Okay? You'll see that in a moment when it is strung. Right? The string has two loops, one at either end, and a uh, finger protector right in the middle. To tell which end is the top of the string, what you need to do is if you hold the loops up together, one of the loops will be quite small, the other one will be a little bit bigger. Okay? The small loop is the one that goes on the bottom of the bow. The way that you can tell which end of the bow is the bottom is they do have writing on it. So if you hold that the right way up, small loop goes on the bottom, it clips over the end there. On the bottom of the bows, there are a little groove. You do need to get the black part of the string to sit in that groove, okay? Otherwise, it can slip off. Then what you need to do, hold your string up, hold your bow out, step your left leg over, and rest the other part of the bow on your right shin. Now what I'm going to do is just pull the bow back. It should be nice and easy, okay? I'm going to click that just over there, make sure it is in the grooves of both ends, and I'm going to let it go. I'm going to pull my foot out, making sure I'm not going to kick the string as I go past. Now that one is fully strung. As you can see, the, uh, the finger guards line up with the arrow rest here, nice and straight. 